All right, guys, I have been waiting two days to cash in my points to get Sharpshooter 3 because I love you guys. I want to make sure it was recorded in a video and kind of in line with how everything's been going down with, you know, my pro team here. Um, these guys are all European pros. Uh, they're amazing at the game and uh, we're, we're getting better and better. We're, but really, when I say pro team, I'm really actually talking about vying for the top. So even if we're not a top uh, PVP family now, uh, we are shooting for that. And so that's what we're working towards. Um, so I've got a bunch of points. I've obviously used some of them and we're going to get, so in this episode, we're getting Sharpshooter 3, which is the best solo PVP class in the game. Now they might be, it looks like from the devs notes that they might be about to nerf the Sharpshooter 3. They're going to do, I think a balance update, which would be amazing. And I don't even care. You know what? Hopefully they don't nerf it too much, right? I mean, we don't want the Sharpshooter 3 to be worthless. Then, yeah, I'd be upset. But if they make the Sharpshooter 3 just good and, you know, more equal with everything else, then I'll be happy. So, okay. So we're heading in here. Um, we're going to, yeah, we're getting the points. Going in for Sharpshooter 3. We only need 500 points. Now, I was blown away when I was getting close to Sharpshooter 3, and I've been working on getting Assassin 2. Well, I got Assassin 2 while I was waiting. I'm blown away that by the time I get Sharpshooter 3, even though I've only gotten two level uh, 3 classes, I'm, I'm going to have the 40,000 points to start working on the Archmage, uh, which is really exciting. So, okay, let's start with uh, turning in some of the stuff we've got a lot of. There we go. That's pretty exact. Boom. Guys, we just unlocked Sharpshooter 3. Are these people like... <laughs> hey, guys. They're throwing a party for me. Congrats, Versa. Thank you. I'm excited. They're, they're, these guys didn't even know. Archmage is next. So, okay. I'm going to switch over to Sharpshooter 3. Best PvE class in the game. Or, sorry. Best solo pvp class in the game uh and now we're gonna go ahead and we got the forty thousand points we need we're gonna start working on archmage so select Woo, this is gonna be a lot kill two bosses at the sanctum i'm already done oh got it it just refreshed okay so that should be real <laughs> that should happen real quick we killed bosses at the sanctum all the time okay i'm not gonna i decided i'm not gonna do the hell stab i'm gonna turn that in for something else and I'm, I kind of like these Raiders Axe and Shields, so I'll probably wait on that too. All right, guys, we're 300 points start towards Archmage. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a grind. But I have been encouraged. We have gotten a lot of progress. And so hopefully, you know, if my teams, if my teammates keep helping me out, we should be able to, to unlock Archmage pretty quickly. Okay, well, let's go do some solo PvP because, you know, what's the point of getting the best solo PvP class in the game if we're not going to go do some PvP? The problem with solo PvP, though, is I just, there's a lot of people out there that are just better than me. They've just been playing, they just play more, and they've just got everything down. But the only way to get better is to, is to you know, win some and some, you lose some. So uh, I have been getting better at it, so... I'm gonna go in solo. Nevo, if you find anyone in the in the duo, like or in the team, uh, let me know and I'll come over to the team and okay. help fight with I you. Just kill the bot to get him some stun helps. Oh nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bots are dropping very good stuff lately. Yeah, bots have been dropping lots of good stuff. I think the update they're they're making the game a little bit more bot heavy, which I don't like, but and uh, I actually don't really like doing solo PvP, mainly just because the competition is so heavy, but... Oh, well, by the way, you should be careful of the stun shifts. Yes, that's true. I, I brought a Dispel Potion, though, so I should be good. <laughs> Let me make... Alright. Some food and some water. That was a lame limit Mimic. You've been in three family zones and they're all empty? Yeah. Wow, you're just opening chest and resetting it? Oh, no, I didn't open chest. I just uh, took some laps and then I left. And it reset on its own? Uh, I don't 
don't think it resets. Oh, I'm yeah. Checking oh, you're checking different zones. Got it. Well, I saw a little lag spike, but that doesn't mean it's not a bot. Because I've been, I've been seeing lag spikes even when it's a bot appearing, which is so dumb. But I don't know. I don't know why that is, but... Okay, there's, another a, bot. there's another bot. There's a lag spike. Looks like a bot. All right, it's a bot. Dang it. This one kind of confused me. I mean, it couldn't, could have not been a bot, but it doesn't make sense why he, he never even checked my gear before he started running away. Oh, I'm in aggressive mode, so it might not have been a bot. I'm gonna get out of aggressive mode so that I can see. There's so many players. Wait, you're seeing a lot of players? Yeah, but it's solo zone. Yeah, yeah. They're all naked. There are three naked. Now you gotta avoid naked too, because they might have stun chips. In. <laughs> yeah, you gotta. Yeah, you gotta be careful with nakeds right now. Stun traps are OP. So I, I hope the devs fix this. Buff that they did to shock trips because naked players can easily kill. I know it's so it's so dumb. You have to use a dispel just to beat people now. Um, yeah, even even protectors need to use this. And before I didn't, I, I was just using reflect potion. And that's it. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's dumb. But I think they are gonna fix it. So. All right, I'm gonna chill here for a little bit. I don't, you know, don't know what else to do while I'm waiting. I really hope I can get at least one really good PvP fight in with, uh, with the Sharpshooter Three, but we'll see. They need to add a Druid's Treasure type event for solo. Oh yeah, they need. That'll be awesome. And then they, I think they should add one for duo, and then eventually maybe even add one for for a trio, but. Uh, solo should be first. They should have a solo one you could go to that you know, you know, you're solo and if you don't like solo then you just won't go. And then they should do a duo because there's a lot of duo players out there. And even if you're a three-man team, you know, often you can get two people on and so you go. I mean, honestly, Druids is already kind of the, the trio event. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's someone. No, I'm in solo, but I think that they, I mean, we're both green. We'll see what, no, they're naked. In my opinion, they should have like an arena kind of game mode where people can just 1v1 or 4v4 without losing gear and without gaining any gear. So it's just like a practice. So maybe there's no way to hide my bow. In a bush? Yeah, people can see this. Someone was telling me that you can see a bow in a bush. Uh, I think if you're at the edge of the bush, someone can see your bow. But if you're in the middle of the bush, I don't think so. All right. Well, I'm just kind of chilling. I might follow around this green guy, see if any reds try to kill him. these guys doing oh my gosh it's so hard to find good pvp when you're looking for it except for the the giant's treasure event obviously that's good pvp pretty much every time if you go in as a family early on i think i'll just go home and take a dispel potion because i don't want to risk because if i if i get stunned that's it i can't get out i know it's it's so broken yeah okay well I'll do one more sweep, but it looks like these guys are... No one's around. Oh, someone's here because they tried to open that... a chest. Oh. 
crap, he's got the side advantage. Yes, give me the side advantage, please. Oh, he surrenders. Alright. So have you found any purples in family zones yet? I can tell though when I'm doing solo PvP like this because you gotta roam around a lot. And you know, someone who's not recording, they're just sitting, you know, in their bed and they're just kind of fumbling around, like it's it's easy to have a lot of stamina to just keep going. But I I notice that often I'll get tired and I'll start making more um, aggressive decisions just to try to find that PvP and then I'll catch myself in a bad situation. You know, where I'm, someone caught me off guard or something, and then I, I can end up dying. All right, we did it. Switching back to sharpshooter. Hope this was worth one durability on my fire bow. And it wasn't. Maybe that leather strip was worth it. All right, there's someone in the zone. That's kind of nice. Yeah, okay. but I have a disc. In a family zone? You did? Yeah, and he might want to Oh, you found a, a guy in... Sorry, say that again? I found a fan. A fan? What is your... Yeah. Oh, here's a guy. No. Just probably a bot. There's a real... Yeah, all the real players are in green right now. Oh, he says he only has broken gear. That's all right. I I kind of wanted to do the you know organic PvP. That's that's what I love about this game. All the staged PvP is you know it's okay, but it's really the person that's gotten good at staged PvP uh, versus you know the organics of the game. You know. It's just so much more exciting when it's organic and not like we're counting down. Yeah, because maybe you or the other that you're one running, maybe they're not prepared if it's organic, but if it's the friend is prepared. Yeah, if I'm not prepared, then it's kind of like, oh my gosh, I gotta like overcome. And if they're not prepared, it's like, yeah, I, I outsmarted or I, I used my terrain advantage. It's just, it's just so much more diverse. And uh, I love it. I really hope they create more events so that we can get more um, opportunities. All family and all solo zones are empty. Yeah, man, they're empty. I hate it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. All right, guys, I'm here at the Red Forest Zone. We can see there's a real player, and if he continues to, like, if he brings these mobs over to me, I'm going to definitely go red and kill him, but... I think he's good. Um, but I'm I'm looking, I'm just trying to find some geared players. And right now, there are none of them. There's a, a green, no gear. But he does have a dagger, which makes me think that he could be using the... Uh, fire uh, the um, stun, stun trap so if he goes red I'm gonna have to kill him quick because there's nothing I can get from him right I mean he just <laughs> wait I know you from YouTube from YouTube <laughs> All right, well, I don't think it's gonna work, guys. I gotta go to work. I don't think we're gonna find anyone. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna see what I can do. Okay. Uh, all right, guys, we're doing one more sweep and we'll see, there's a guy. He's not in aggressive mode, He's sneaking. Probably scared out of his mind, but I'm green. He should know that. Ooh, the lag spike. Hopefully that's someone. 
if you get in purple gear and come fight me, comma, then you will definitely be in the video. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> yeah, that's that that can be the problem with Frostborn, is that you, you no one wants to lose their stuff. Maybe I need to go in aggressive mode and kill kill people and then they'll get they'll rage wanna come and try to kill me back, but all right, guys, so we weren't able to find any solo PvP, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go record a bunch of solo PvP, and what you're about to watch is me commenting on me doing that PvP. All right, guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty frustrated right now uh, because I have been looking for solo PvP for hours and hours and have found really nothing good. So, you know, you can see here I'm... In a solo zone, uh, looking, <laughs> trying, trying to find something, and oh, player, oh, great, two players, but turns out it's a bot. So, kill one of the bots, come over here, kill the other bot, and uh, kill the giant that the bots were fighting. And I mean, I get some gear, you know, uh, but it's nothing, there's nothing. And so, it's just lame. Then I go, okay, so I, I basically, I'll do a loop, and then I'll, I'll hang out in a bush just in case someone else is doing a loop. And so I hang out in the bush for a little while, do a loop, go to the next zone. Same thing. Hang, oh, bot. Oh, look, oh, a bot with purple gear. Oh, bot. Another bot. And hang out of the bush, see if anyone else is doing a loop. And then I go into aggressive mode. Maybe I was already in aggressive mode. I don't know. All right, back out of zone. You know, sometimes I sneak going up. Hey, another bot. Oh, I got a hammer, that's cool. But no PVP, nothing interesting. Go to the last zone. I did find this guy, you know, but then there was a troll. So actually, I think I did find some real players. Not that no one was geared, but I found some real players in this zone, which was nice. But then it was the one zone that I ended up finding the troll, and so I'm like, and I don't really want to kill these guys anyway. So, uh, or I did kill Dan because he kept following me and kind of pestered me. I thought he was going to try to bowl with me. So, and I'm just running around with the troll, and then there's some people. I'm like, great, more people. But none of them are geared, so this is kind of a lame, lame experience. Uh, let's see. Uh, here's another one. This time I have a dragon bow. Uh, I'm. This is honestly. I just picked the two best clips out of a lot because I would just I would record and then I would just delete because I'm like literally I had nothing. I didn't even have anything interesting bot related happen. And I think what it is is I think the devs. Uh, in this last update made a big change to the matchmaking system. They did a lot of changes. They got rid of raiding or not get They got rid of, you know, forced raiding and they just, they basically made a lot of decisions, I think, to try to help uh, players, but I think they also just killed the PVP aspects of their game. Uh, not the Giants, Treasure and Druids. Dru Giants, Treasure and Druids are still super awesome and alive uh, and so that's a great part of the game but for solo pvp there's really nothing so sit in the bush do a loop sit in the bush do a loop all right go to the next zone uh oh here's one i i go into aggressive mode just because i'm you know kind of desperate to get any type of solo pvp i think this guy had some gear so there we go a little level two backpack and blue gear. So kind of a, I think probably pay to win player. Anytime I see a dragon step, I think maybe a pay to win player, but you know, nothing that special. Um, definitely not a challenge. Oh, here's another bot. I'm just kind of sit there and it says he's a bot and he actually was a bot. So <laughs> usually when the name says it's a bot, I, I thought it's, I think it's not a bot, but it was. All right, so now I'm doing doing the loop again, uh, looking for people again, and 
I'm in aggressive mode, which I don't really like being in aggressive mode, but sometimes you got to kill someone uh, so that they'll come back with good gear to, to give you a good fight. Uh, which again, is not really what I want because I want I want the organic feel of true PvP. Here I saw that giant move, so I'm like, okay, this is probably a real player. Um, so I'm looking around for him. And uh, he's running around with the enemies. I go through here to catch up to him. And I target him and I kill him while the... Here, I'll show that again, actually. So you can see here, I come in here, I hammer him. And, uh, and then I get on the other side of him so that the mobs go his way. And then I slow him. I use a slow arrow so he, the mobs are hitting him. And um, so it was, it was kind of fun to practice my, you know, skills of moving, basically positioning. There was a lot of positioning and slowing them down, but wasn't much of a thing. And that was a real player. So I was like, oh, he brought some green gear to the thing. And then I kind of go down here to the death corner. And uh, then he comes <laughs> and he keeps trying to type, but... It wasn't working. I didn't know if his chat was bugged. Um, one of the many times my battery got dead trying to look for PvP. And uh, and so, you know, he's not... I'm not seeing any chat. I finally am like, okay, you know what? I'll help this guy out. I don't, I don't need his stuff. So I uh, give him all his, his stuff back. And, um, and I'm like, what am I doing? This is such a waste of my life, you know, <laughs> trying to just get content. Uh, this is one of the biggest things that I think, well, it used to not be so bad. I used to be able to find a lot more PVP. I'm in, I'm in a, um, I'm in a prime time for Europe. This is the European West server. I'm in a prime time for the, for the server. I'm I'm in uh, I have good gear score I like everything should be working it's a very crowded server and yet I can't find any solo PvP with hours and so it's just like well this is a, a waste of my time so after hours and hours and a lot of deleted clips uh, I do something really stupid because honestly I was just getting desperate and every once in a while you'll see a geared person come to a team zone, or not every once in a while, it happens. Um, you'll find a geared person come to a team zone and it's dumb, but you know, I thought if I can just get some good content for this video, if I can just get a little bit of PVP. Um, so I do take off aggressive mode thinking, okay, maybe, you know, I can find that, that aggressive troll that's looking for the kill. And I'll know what other people's intentions are when I see them. And uh, but I am feeling really dumb. Like the whole time I'm here, I'm got a fire bow in a team zone, which is just really dumb. It's not that big of a deal. I'm really rich in this account. I can afford it. But I'm also thinking this is dumb. It, even though I can afford it, why why waste a fire bow? Um, so I go into the tomb. There's. Irith, who was in aggressive mode as well, but uh, I see these two guys doing the tomb. They don't have good gear. Not really worth, you know. I don't really want to bully people that don't have good gear, so I'm, you know, fine with that. And then we got an. Oh, that was actually a real player. Um, let's see how he died. Oh yeah, he just died to random stuff. And so I was like, cool, random stuff. And I kind of sit by this tomb for a little while and there's just nothing. So I go to the yellow zone, again, team zone, which is again, dumb. Uh, don't ever do this guys. I was just doing it for content and you're gonna see that it was not smart. So I'm roaming around, finding more bots, lots of bots, killed lots of bots. This guy is being really annoying because he's like talking and like revealing to people that we are here. 
And then he goes and gets himself killed. And I'm like, crap, this is it. So right at this moment, I already know the chances of me living are very unlikely. The only thing that could maybe prevent them is if you know I run through the mobs and they think, oh, maybe his team's somewhere. But I didn't have my team. Uh, and and so I'm like, this is not this is not gonna go well. Uh, you can see they speed potion. I, I stun him, but you know, they've got all five of them. Or all three I said all five. All three of them. And so anyways, that's that's what happens when you go to a, a zone solo. And um so I'm i I'm feeling dumb, but at the same time I'm like, you know what, I have the stuff to spare. It's okay. I was trying to do it for content. I didn't get any content. That's the saddest part of this, is I wasn't really getting any content from from dying to a bunch of team people. Um really wanted to use Sharpshooter 3, you know, for you guys so that you guys could see what it's like. Um and Aunt Dex is over here like, did they kill you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I was <laughs> I was kind of laughing about this, but I was also frustrated. I, I, actually, I wasn't frustrated about dying. I was really just frustrated that I had spent, that I had wasted hours of my life trying to find some solo PvP and couldn't find anything. That was really frustrating to me. And I was, at this point, I was just very, it was just icing on the cake. I was just so infuriated that the, the I, I think the devs made, added more bots into the game. I've never seen this many bots. I've seen a lot of bots. But the fact that I killed like 10 bots before ever even running into a person. Um, turns out that that team knows who I am. And so he's like, yeah, let me, um, yeah, we can 1v1. So we make a deal. Uh, if if I win the fight, uh, I get all my stuff back. Well, which they're gonna give me to do the fight, and um, and then if they win, they get five dispel potions. So I thought that was pretty good. But you know, even just the guy's confidence that you know they're gonna win was was pretty good. It seemed like they you know they have a pretty good team, um, or pretty good. They they felt pretty confident on, in their PvP skills. So. Uh, I opt out. I opt to kill. I opt to fight the sharpshooter because I want to show, you know, he he wasn't a level three class, and and so basically, in order for me to use sharpshooter three, which is the whole point of this episode is for me to use sharpshooter three, um, I'm gonna fight their sharpshooter three. So so I go back, and uh, they are in the the death corner, which just means the bottom corner. It's the easiest for someone to hide in see above them um, and uh, there's their archer who I'm going to be fighting and I put the dispel potions the five dispel potions for them um, that's the the ante and then we kind of gear up to fight so I gear up with yeah we're basically we're geared up um, debonair is counting down and so let me pause for a second i actually am pretty like this isn't what i wanted for you guys because the truth is these staged pvp fights is a very different type of fighting than the organic pvp that you saw on let's say my last free to play solo episode where i was the assassin 2 and i find that guy out of nowhere and then he comes back to try to take me out and i kill him again even though he's like a higher level uh, class than me like those type of pvp experiences are what to live for in frostborn that that's what i was looking for and that unfortunately that assassin 2 episode happened before this last update i don't know what the devs did but I'll, i've just been getting so many bots um since then and so i'm not exactly sure uh, what is happening to the algorithms but i just feel like yeah, this was very frustrating to spend so many hours and then end up, you know, fighting in a, a 1v1 staged fight. This is not what I want. It's a different type of PvP, but I thought I might have a chance, so let's let's go for it. 
So I'm sneaking, he's not, which gives me a little advantage. I get the first stun, I'm close to him, and then uh, I I dispel just enough to where, um, okay, so it's pretty even. Okay, so here I get a really good hammer on him. This is good, solid hit with a hammer close enough to where I can start doing damage immediately. You can see I'm shooting pretty much immediately. I don't know what that arrow was, but it was good that I missed it anyways because he comes in at me. And then I get my dispel off pretty quick. And so he's got more damage than me, but like, like he's done more damage than me, but he's a higher level than me. So that means we probably did the same amount of damage to each other. And my dispel was after his. So if, if at the very end of the fight, I'm going to end up doing more damage. So it makes sense that he runs away. I get, I land my uh, slow attack on him, which should let me, you know, get him. And then I miss that arrow. If I had hit that arrow, it would have been absolutely game over. Um, I would have won and I would have gotten my stuff back, but he, I don't know if he saw it. Uh, I was leading him or if he was just already zigzagging. Usually people, like even the pros, they say, you know, usually when you dodge something like that, m most of the time it's because of accident. Like you're just zigzagging, which is, that's where it's smart to be zigzagging. It's just too hard to have the right reflexes to be able to actually dodge those things. It happens every once in a while, but it's, it's fairly rare. Um, and so then I throw that hammer again. I thought he was going that way. So I really miss the arrow and the hammer, either of which would have probably ended up uh, getting the, the kill that I needed. So I'm still doing a little bit more damage to them, but then he gets that hammer throw on me. And, uh, and so that got the kill and uh, it was a good PVP. I mean, honestly, he was a good uh, PVP player because you could even see the fact that he ran away um but he was a good pvp player because he knew that in that first exchange that i had the advantage and that's why he ran away and i got that slow on him but i wasn't able to land the kill with my stuns um and so it, he ended up getting the the win but i appreciated these guys giving me the opportunity and honestly the content because i wanted to show you guys the sharpshooter 3 the best PvP, 1v1 PvP class in the game, and this is pretty much all I have to show you guys, because something in the algorithms, something's different. I mean, I've, I've been really, ever since that update, it has been hard for me to find any good PvP. I've been finding a lot of bots. I give, I want to give the devs grace, because the truth is, they're still trying to experiment with the game. They're trying to find that perfect formula. And, um, and I just think this was, this last update was, in my opinion, the worst update. Uh, definitely since global. So I want to give grace to the devs because I know they're still trying to figure out their system and, you know, tweak the numbers so that everyone wins and, and more bots mean that newer players feel happy about, oh, I killed someone when really they just killed bots. So I, I want to give them some, some grace on that. But the fact that I'm a level 87 sharpshooter three in full gear, and and I searched for four hours and could not find any solo PvP. Uh, that is, that's just, something's wrong with that, you know? And I don't have time. So in reality, guys, I, I don't have time to do another episode like this. Like I'm not going to ever do a solo PvP episode until the devs either fix their algorithms or probably what would be better is if they just created a giant's treasure or druid's treasure event for solo players. Uh, I think that that would be a really cool, it'd be a lot of people would love that because you would be the guaranteed PVP that we get in giant's treasure or in druid's treasure, which is so much fun every two hours to be able to have that for a solo player is that would also be uh, you know, really a lot of fun. So when that happens, I may go back to doing some solo PVP, but as it is, I just got a class that I will use for more staged PVP like this, uh, when I need to, but, but I'm never going to do this again. I just, I just don't have time. If I want to make a video for you guys every day, there's no way I can be spending four hours 
uh, just running around zones, getting so frustrated. I, I was just ready to to quit for several days after this episode. I, I've, I have not been this frustrated uh, with this game, maybe ever. I just, there's nothing more frustrating than looking for something that you can't find. And, uh, and then to end up losing it and, you know, having to do stage PVP, which I can do any day. I can go text anyone on Discord and get, you know, some solo PVP. So that's it, guys. That's the Sharpshooter 3. I have it, and I can use it in solo PVP when those times come. Um, but I'm just probably not going to go looking for it. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.